Researchers have investigated a number of ways to render stylized silhouettes of 3D models, but little has been said about how to do this with temporal coherence. Without coherence, the eye is distracted by sudden changes in the shape or placement of the strokes. Here is the same model with coherent stylized silhouettes. In fact, there are two kinds of coherence one might want to achieve. Here we see coherence in 2D of the image space attributes of stylized strokes. In contrast, coherence on the 3D shape is useful for stylizations that suggest surface detail, like thorns on this cactus. This video demonstrates a method for achieving coherent stylized silhouettes, including a way to balance between such 2D and 3D forms of coherence. The process starts with a triangle mesh. First, we find the silhouettes, then we determine the visible portions. One of our key contributions is that we divide the visible silhouette into separate parts called brush paths, where stylized strokes will be applied. We would like the strokes in the next frame to match these. So, before going to the next frame, we take samples of the parameterization along each brush path. In the next frame, we reproject the samples to image space, then propagate them to nearby silhouettes. We use the surviving samples to generate new brush paths and their parameterizations. Previous methods assigned a single parameterization to each entire region of visible silhouette. With that policy, whenever two regions of visible silhouette from one frame merge into a single region in the next frame, a single parameterization must take the place of two, leading to a distracting pop. In our approach, we maintain separate brush paths when the silhouette regions merge, thereby preserving the appearance of the strokes and avoiding the pop. The next step is to parameterize the brush paths. Stroke qualities such as width, texture, and wiggles vary along the stroke in screen space. So it's natural to parameterize them by screen space arc length. This works well for a panning or rotating figure. However, it leads to a swimming effect when the model zooms in or out. To combat swimming, we scale the arc length parameterization based on the apparent size of the model. This produces a more natural effect. The same policy generally works well for stylizations that suggest details of the 3D shape, like bumps or thorns, except when the model is rotated or foreshortened. The details then seem to move over the surface. Recall that as part of our process, we propagate samples of parameterization from one frame to the next. When we parameterize a brush path from its corresponding samples, our method can favor either a 2D or 3D style of coherence or strike some balance between them. On the right, we adjusted the settings to more closely interpolate the samples from the previous frame. The stylization then seems to stick to the 3D shape, better suggesting surface details. The same settings produce an unnatural effect for a purely 2D style, like these dotted lines. As the viewpoint changes, the dot spacing gets distorted in the image on the right. The settings on the left favor uniform arc length over interpolation, and so better preserve the spacing. In practice, the best results are achieved by some balance of the two kinds of parameterization, depending on the desired effect. On this simple model, stylization can suggest a variety of surface qualities. For example, these rounded lines give the appearance of fluffiness, whereas sharper angles can suggest a more spiky figure. Even on this visually complex model, we can render stylized silhouettes with robust temporal coherence. While we have focused on visible silhouettes in this presentation, in fact, we can apply the same process to invisible silhouettes as we have done for this visualization of a Klein bottle. The same process works for other features too, like creases. When coherence is disabled, the swimming effect in the dashed lines detracts from the visualization. A number of effects can be achieved by animating the strokes. The underlying coherent parameterization lets us do this in a controlled way. Without it, we are limited to stroke animations that simply change randomly. 
Finally, we note that the process described in this video works equally well for animated scenes. In this clip, various gears move under rigid transformations, while the mesh for this dancing cactus deforms freely. In summary, we have presented a method for rendering coherent stylized silhouettes of 3D models. This makes possible a broad range of visual effects that could not previously be achieved.